I'm Andy Torbett. And I'm Becky Biggins. And this is the Sahara Desert. Believe it or not, this really is the Sahara Desert. We're in Southern Morocco. Uh, and what better place to introduce you to the brand new Endeavour B62 from Bailey of Bristol. Now this is the first time that Bailey have ever done a panel van conversion. It's really exciting. It's such a powerful, compact van. It's got tons of living space and storage space, and we can't wait to show you around. Let's have a look. So here we are in the cab. Now driving the Endeavour is really easy, thanks to this automatic gearbox. We have a Ford engine with 160 brake horsepower, so you know you have enough power to get you wherever you want to go. Moving into the kitchen then, we'll start with the fridge, the big Thetford compressor fridge here. Bags of room in there, including a little freezer box at the top. Again, huge amounts of storage space above that. More storage space down here with power points. Even more storage space here with a little cutlery drawer there and the cutlery organiser, as well as a draining board, a chopping board and, um, and washing up basin. It's an optional extra from Prima Leisure. Moving forward, a combined oven and grill, and then on top is the three gas burner hob. And you've got plenty of room to work in the kitchen because of this unique device. This tamar door cleverly slides around so you can shift the usable space in the van to where you need it at the time from the kitchen into shower room and toilet. And this is the shower room. It has a toilet, as you can see. It also has a sink, loads of storage space and open shelves behind me. It had this really clever sink. Look at this. You pull out this hat, pop it up here, and you've got a shower, complete with shower tray with drainage. It's such a great use of space. Here we are in the living area. Now we don't need it on a day like today, but the Endeavour does come with a Truma heating system. So you know that you're going to be warm even if you take it somewhere really cold. Now these are super comfy. What are we calling these? Sofas? Bonquette? Bonquette. Bonquette is like a sofa. Let's call it um, a sofa then. Okay, sofa. These sofas are finished in this gorgeous blue upholstery, which I'm a big fan of. They're very, very comfy and you can remove the back cushions to make them into two single beds. Now these single beds are six foot three long each, which is kind of more than I need. Um, but what you can also do is make them into a really comfy double bed. There are some panels stored underneath this seat. Are you going to tell us all about storage in the set? Yeah, yeah. I love the storage in this set. We've got some panels which go between the seats here. You take the back cushions, pop them in the gap, and you are done. Double bed. And then from an electronics and tech point of view, there's, there's plenty of lighting, but these lights here also have a USB charging point. As an optional extra, you can have the Avtex TV fitted on this wall just here and also Avtex do a Wi-Fi system which can be fitted as well as an option. And as Bex mentioned, from a storage point of view, under here we've got bags of storage under the seats and then more cupboards up here, up here and back here so you will not want for room. Perfect for conditions like the day in the Sahara Desert. Up top is a solar panel for all your power needs. As well as that, again, perfect for days like this is the R standard awning that winds out from the uh, roof and gives you a nice bit of shade. Also, it's worth mentioning at this point is this, the electric pop-out step to help you into the van, which goes in and out. But best of all, as a safety feature, if you start up the engine and forget to retract the step, it will automatically pull back in and there's no danger of you driving off and the step still sticking out. Right, to the back. At the rear is the bike rack, which is an optional extra and cleverly designed to still be uh, usable, even if you want to open the back doors to reveal... Me! Is that what you meant? <laughs> As you can see, I've taken out the back sofa cushions, which means that if you don't go for the optional extra bike rack, you can pop your bikes down here. There's loads of room. You've also got access to this nice long cupboard at the rear for storing all those big objects like skis or paddles or fishing rods. So there we have it, the new Bailey Endeavour. It's less than six metres long and two metres wide. It's compact, but it'll take you wherever you want to go. It's 100% self-sufficient, it's fully equipped inside and out, and therefore is ready to take you on your next adventure. Maybe to the Sahara.